In the first three Jericho Forum Identity videos, we learned how starting from a core identifier and building personas enable Tom to exist electronically within an identity ecosystem. Now we are going to expand that thinking beyond people to look at how exactly the same concepts expand to include all entities that need identity. The Jericho Forum commandments define five entity types, people, devices, organizations, code, and agents. So let's look at how Tom and his personas operate in the digital world. Here is Tom and he's using a laptop which, as a device, needs identity. Potentially this device is a corporate laptop and therefore will have a corporate laptop persona involving an organization identity. The laptop is running code and this code needs to be trusted, therefore having both identity and attributes. Finally, agents. In the future, increasingly, these will be electronic, but for now, Tom has a personal assistant called Emma, authorized by Tom, remember primacy, to use attributes of some of his persona on his behalf. In this case, Tom's corporate credit card and frequent flyer persona to book some travel on Tom's behalf, but using Emma's identity. Having all these entities with identity, all using interoperable identifiers, allows rich, risk-based decisions to be made. This is known as entitlement, a set of rules defined by the resource owner by which the entities are allowed varying levels of access to networks, systems, applications, and data. So let's see how this works for Tom in practice using a simple example. Tom is working in the Human Resources Department and working on his corporate laptop in the office and using the HR application to access all the employee records for a department. At an internet cafe, Tom uses his same identifier to access the same HR system from their unsecured computer. Before, this would probably have given Tom the same level of access to employee records but now, as the device identity is not a corporate one and also the location is a public address, the entitlement rules only allow Tom read-only access to his own HR records and maybe even just to print out his payslip. So in summary, what have we learned about entities? First, identity needs to cover more than just people. It's people, devices, organizations, code, and agents, and needs to encompass all entities in a transaction chain. Second, entitlement allows a risk-based set of rules to be defined for access, encompassing all entities in the transaction chain through their identifiers and attributes. And finally, properly implemented entitlement rules, which minimize the identity and attributes required to be exposed, are both privacy-enhancing and compliance-enhancing. In the final video tutorial, we will look at how all this fits together into a global identity ecosystem and the key problems that still need to be solved.